8.30. Good evening. Time for prayers from the attic. Welcome. Welcome to St. Paul's Church in Nantucket. Sweet boy, what are you doing? Come on up, boy. Up we go, Meepo. Steep stairs, Meepo. Be careful, okay? He's not sure. Come on, Meepo. Stay with Mommy and Daddy. There's always Boa. I feel like saying when, when they go low, you go high. That, you can't say that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot. Hey, Meepo. There we go. We get the flag set up. No flowers tonight. We're leaving them over in church for the Thursday evening concert. Hey, me boy, stay in. Come on, handsome. <laughs> oh, what a good boy you are. Oh, you are yes. so cute. Me ball, me ball. Oh, he's a good boy. He sure is a good little boy. Me ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the light. Holly, oh, we don't have enough lighting on. No. What's going on? There we go. There's there we go. Hello. Good evening. Happy Tuesday night. Tuesday night. We're ready to rumble. Diane, good to see you. Who else is with Hi, us? Diane. Jeffrey's here. Meatballs. <laughs> Who's Jeffrey? I'm sure Jeffrey about church Potts? tonight. Yes, Jeffrey's here. Oh. Beth. Hi, Beth. Yeah, Jeff, it's dark up here. You believe it's only 8.30, but it looks like it's midnight hi, out there. Hi, Lucy. It's winter. It's winter on the island already. <laughs> it's not winter. It's not. Here. No, it's beautiful. It will be soon. <laughs> Outdoor meetings today, Ali. It was really, it's like, take the class outside hi, today. Hi, Joseph. So pretty. Joseph, how are you? Looking forward to you, seeing you, Joseph. That's right. Jeff and Joseph, different times coming up to visit. Looking forward to that. Yep. Yeah, and what else, Sally? How was your day? Great, and a good day. It was a beautiful day. Uh, spent outside, and then I wanted to go over to our wonderful hospital thrift shop and do a little shopping. Um, they we went to our thrift shop down, the Old Saints thrift shop down in Delaware, of yes. course. Is, we're, we're, this is, I bet you this shirt was from it, Ali. This shirt from the Old, the old Saints thrift shop. Yeah, I, I always seem to have something on from that thrift shop. I don't yeah. know, but... Um, yeah, but the hospital thrift shop here is sweet, sweet old building. Oh, yeah, so I went to their little... They, they, they sell things outside, because I can't sell things inside. So I went to their outside sale today, and it was very nice. It was fun, you know, and I, of course I bought things. I can't not, you know. Got Goes a few, to a good cause. I love stripes. And just in case you want to take note, I love China. striped shirts. So <laughs> I've got a couple of striped shirts. Lucy, hey. Lucy was uh, busy doing errands today and couldn't make it to our meeting. Oh. Next time, Lucy, we sat outside at a safe distance out in the, out in the uh, courtyard behind my office. Um, mm -hmm. It was pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, was it busy at the uh, thrift shop? Yes, the way? it's the most popular place in town. It was a line like six feet apart yeah, per person yeah. down, oh, the yes. street, uh -huh. down the street. It, I, it took me about 35 minutes of waiting before I went in. Really? Wow. Because that's just how it is. You know, they can only have so many people yes. shopping. Was it inside? It was outside. Oh, it was all outside, yes. Outside, yeah. in the driveway. Outside. So. I know. I wanted to open up a thrift shop here, but everyone said, we can't compete with the hospital thrift shop, but it's enough thrift shop business for everybody out there, isn't there, <laughs> folks? And, uh, but yeah. Uh, but, um, what else, Olive? Uh, I had several meetings and I zoomed into a hospital meeting too. Our hospital needs a thrift shop income because, you know, all our hospitals geared up for the pandemic. You can read it all. If I put my face forward, it look like I'm Shrek okay. approaching well, keep, the text. Keep, keep, whatever you're saying. Because of the pandemic, the hospital geared up for it. And, and then people stopped coming for regular hospital visits. And uh, so a lot of our hospitals are behind uh, in income, but we have a sweet little shingled hospital here. And uh, first new hospital in Massachusetts in 40 years. Um, and 
It's a sweet hospital. We'll get through this, are we? A little bit longer, we'll get all get through this together. The sure bio will. can help from my friends. We sure will. All right, well, my friends. Me, uh, all right, so I have to here. do one more. Talk for one minute, are I? <laughs> Okay, well. Keep talk amongst yourself. Um, let's see. Oh, I, I'm good now. It's a historic day, but we'll get to that. Oh, it's a historic that. day. We'll get to that. We can talk oh, about it now. It. It's okay. the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment giving the women a right to vote. Isn't that, um, it seems like only yesterday, 100 years ago, but, um, yeah, so it's, um, it, it, it's current, you know, because it took a long time for women to get the right to vote. Mm -hmm. And so... Sadly, our, our first uh, words were all men are created equal, Ali. It took a long time for people to realize that meant all people are created equal. Mm -hmm. Yep, but here we go. Page 127, Order for Compline. Okay. Lord Almighty, grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let's confess our sins to God. Almighty, Almighty God, God, our, our Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, we, we have, have sinned against you in through thought, and word, through our own fault, in thought, and word, and deed, and, deed, and what we have left undone. undone. For, For the, the sake, sake of your Son, Son our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant, grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the, the glory of your name. Your name. Amen. Amen. May the mighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the, the Son, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Okay, uh, page um, 787 of the prayer book. So good to see you. Thanks, Christine. Jay, good to see you. Yay. Who's here with us? Jay. Jay, Christine. Oh, Jay is. Yeah. Hi, Jay. 787. So, 787, uh, short, short one, Ali. It's Psalm 133, if you're using your Bible instead, if you're using your prayer book. Page 787. Psalm 133. I'll read up to the asterisk, and Ali, you and the congregation can, can pray the rest of the verse. Oh, how good and pleasant it is when brethren live together in unity. It is like fine oil upon the head that runs down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, and runs down upon the collar of his robe. It is like the dew of Hermon that falls upon the hills of Zion. For there the Lord has ordained the blessing. Life forevermore. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Okay, Ali, um, Bible reading I think is next. I think you're right. I think so, I think so. Nice Janet, good to see you. All right, tonight we are reading, uh, I have a reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Chapter 5. Oh, no. Oh, well, it is actually. Jesus. Yes, thank you. Okay. Jesus said, You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist an evildoer. But if anyone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your coat, give your cloak as well. Mm. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go also the second mile. Give to everyone who begs from you, and do not refuse anyone who wants to borrow from you. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, 
so that you may be children of your Father in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. Hmm. <coughs> For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even... <coughs> Excuse me, the tax collector. Sorry. Start that over. Do love those uh -huh. who love you. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers and sisters, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sorry, Ali, you're very clumpy. You probably <coughs> might be allergic to all the dry flowers up here from previous weeks. Oh, allergy. Allergy. So. <coughs> yes, I've always... Um, this is reading is, is an important reading. And first of all, the beginning of it, oh, well, I think of it, there's a sign on them that we would leave Southern Delaware and drive across the farmlands towards Washington. We didn't go to Washington that often. I went to Eastern Maryland a lot to see my brain scientist friend, Dr. Vallejo. But, it, but, but I, anyways, I headed that way across the farmlands. There's a sign um, painted, it looked like it was from the, something from the 1950s, hand-painted sign, and it said, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind, right? An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. If we seek revenge and pluck out each other's eyes, a terrible image, um, the whole world will be blind. I, you know, there's a lot of Mennonites in that area, Ali, of um, kind of central, southern Delaware, there's quite a few Mennonite families. You see some Mennonite Mennonite uh, churches in that area. So it might have been from that, from that area, uh, Mennonite sign. And of course this one, um, for if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Even tax collectors, <laughs> poor tax collectors, they get bad rap, uh, do the same. And so we uh, love others that don't, love people that don't love us even. So it doesn't mean to put up with abusive situations, like turn the other cheek, it says, you know, but, um, but to love beyond those who love us is such a challenge, isn't it? And also we know it's so freeing when we can do that, right? It's easy for tax collectors. Other pastors say, you know, even the Gentiles love those who love them, right? The non-believers who were asked to love, um, <clears throat> love even our enemies. It's, um, that's a good reminder during these times of the uh, next few months, because it's a um, political season, there'll be some animosity expressed on Facebook, and you know, we, have to, we have to let some of that go and love people that might have different ideas about, you know, than us, and not, um, not despise, right? To not, not consider them our enemies, but, but to love those who differ from us and views would be important. But today, now we get to the point of today's celebration, Ali, the 100th anniversary of the women's right to vote. My own mother, strong um, advocate for human rights, civil rights, women's rights uh, for many years. I, I should really, one of these days, I'll pick, take up the old newspaper articles of my mom in the Providence Journal. Remember, there's a great photo of me. I haven't changed that much, Ali, but um, as like a 10 year old, you know, and my sisters, my sister Judy, you can, it's so dated because it must have been mid 60s. My sister Judy looked like she had a helmet on, a, a motorcycle helmet for her haircut. You know, oh, it's really. I, I, know. It was, I have not seen this picture. It's a, it's a classic, Ollie. I'll find it for you. Where are you going to find it? Providence Journal. You can go online and find oh, all kinds of things. Oh, all right. And so I today, though, see we, it. We, you know, we live on Fear <clears> Street. <throat> and one of our, over where the, sh where the <coughs> ship's in is, which is one of our favorite restaurants for many of our parishioners on the island. It's one of our favorite restaurants. Mark Gartwald, the chef and owner, is one of our dear parishioners, faithful parishioner when we're able to gather uh, in person for, for Holy Communion, especially one of the few chefs I know, him and, him and Evan um, from Pie Restaurant, that are regular churchgoers because it's hard as chefs and restaurant people 
you're up to one in the morning, you know, putting the kitchen to bed after, after all your guests leave. Hard to get up and go to church early Sunday morning. Um, but so this is Lucretia Mott, Lucretia Coffin Mott. And so the Coffin family were an old whaling family on the island. That's a great picture. Yeah, isn't it fabulous? Yeah, really she, didn't, is. she didn't live long enough to see um, the 19th Amendment 100 years ago. But she was both, importantly, both an abolitionist and a suffragist. Yeah, it's a great. I asked Ali to dress like this tonight. So, Ali, you can just put put it on in front of your face. Let me see. See, look at the, the resemblance. No. <laughs> and so, she was a looker that Lucretia Mott coffin. And so, um, Lucretia Mott Lane is right across, dragging across the street. Yeah. The I'm ship's sure in is. the house that she grew up in. And so she was a so she's a suff suffragist and an abolitionist, and that was kind of rare because women, you know, it was, it was during the time of. Um, Slavery still, when when uh, p women started um, fighting for their own rights, fighting for rights in our nation, and so it's just during the and so it took a while for African American women also to be recognized as part of the movement. At first, they were they're in the back of the the protest lines, you know, that was very segregated. But but again, and so Lucretia was way ahead of her time, where she fought for the rights of African Americans. First of all, the abolition of slavery. And then also fought for the vote for African American women, for all women. And so, what a great example, Ali! Isn't that the, you know, what a, again all of us, um, men and women, and you know whatever political position we are, we cherish that right uh, to vote. Do you remember when you voted, Ali, for the first time? Uh, yeah, I d voted for the first time um, when I was married to you. Really? Which yes. Would have been, um, when you're 22, then I think. No. Oh, took you a while to register. 18, I think it's a voting 18, age 18. 18. I think it's age 18. Yeah. Or is it 21? Uh, it was 18. Yeah. It was, okay. So when still. is okay? Well, I you must have. You probably voted before me. Uh, I can't. Yeah. I remember registering, but I can't remember uh, who I voted for or what. You know what? Okay. What the election uh, was. I think it was I'm 1988. So I, 88. Hold on. 18. Yes. That's your first presidential election, yeah. Yeah, so that was my, oh, no, I was, I, okay, I, okay, okay, let's go back. It was 1984 was the uh, the election with Ger Geraldine. Oh, Ferrari, uh, that's right. Geraldine the, the previous and first woman um, president, vice presidential candidate. Am I pulled up? No. Oh, you, you, Walter Mondale? I'm a history oh, major, but it's really ancient history. I could be really off on this. Okay. And I was in college, and I was a friend's. Uh, I, I was calling my friend, and I talked to my friend's father, who was a very nice man. He always would chat me up, and he said, "So, Ollie, did you vote?" And I said, "No." And boy, was there silence on the phone. Oh. Woo. And uh, I just didn't. I I was not. I didn't. It wasn't I, on your, I wasn't wasn't on on your my, radar screen mm, yet. No, I'm sorry to say I was a very naive young girl. You were just so, going off to college, I guess. You were just in your first semester. Yeah, and so I kind of got the message. Right. <laughs> so that you it were was, it was, was, uh, a slacker. I probably should have done that, you know. Um, anyway, then I all these years went by, or four years went by, and I met Max, and I was married, and then I voted. So. Welcome to the voting world, Ali. Yeah, and of course I've voted ever since. This one, this one, this young woman that grew up here, across the street. Here's a lesson: get you know, helped you get to that. Teach point. your children well, and you know, make sure. I think they that's know a Project Seals Ashen young song. It sure is, and um, that's what I was thinking. So, yeah, uh, you know, instill my, my in them the importance so of political. voting. My mother was so political, and still is. My mother's still political. My parents voted, but I don't ever remember them saying, you know, my dad could have called and said, he was alive then, he could have called and said, you know, you might want to vote, but he, you know, nobody did that. I, nobody did that. Well, you were away, you were in, a, in Boston, they were in, in and I, Cold you know, Spring Harbor. It's just, so, just, so I feel a little bad about that, but, um, but I, I got on, I got on board, <laughs> so. Yeah. It's one of the basic rights, Ali. So, yeah. So we cherish, um, we cherish that all people are created equal, and um, liberty and justice for all. We're still working on that. And just like a hundred years ago, when women, it's like, well, you know, we're fighting for our, our vote. 
um, African American people kind of off the radar screen as being included, that we need to look, that we continue to listen and evolve and change. And we've, we've come a long way and we have, still have a ways to go. And so we, we chose the same labor on our, um, I think it's a, we had it one other time, maybe since uh, March 18th when we started. Right. Um, but um, it's one of the songs I love from Trinity Church in Copley Square in Boston, where Al and I went on our second date and, and joined the Episcopal Church there. I just remember, you know, them blasting that on the big pipe organ and 1,200 people singing that song together. Come labor on, we have work to do, right? Work to do out in God's vineyard and work to do to bring justice and peace for all. That's our commitment, that's our goal, that's our, our national pride. And so, um, yeah, I cherish it, Ali. I think we're, we're probably gonna vote in person because you know, it's, we're a small island, there's not giant crowds, and others need to vote um, however safe for you. If you have immune, immunity issues, if um, you worry about crowds, and then the post office, my brother Johnny works for the post office engineer, and he um, he swears by it, so we trust it. But yeah, so the Christian Mott, again, Nantucket is known for women of strength over oh, so absolutely. many years. That, um, During the whole whaling, in... the whaling era of the island, the women held down the island while the men were That's away right. they for had the commerce, the, very you know, long, long periods of time going out. Yeah, although you said three to ten years, you heard. A right? whaling said... voyage was took. Three to, and in some cases, ten years. That's the yeah, longest one, I, ten. I heard wow. that. Uh, I asked about that at the Whaling Museum. So the women, and if you read Nat Philbrick's book, um, The Whale Ship uh, Sea of, what's it called? Um, Whale Ship Essex, Heart of the Sea. Um, Heart of the Sea. It yeah. talked about how the, it was such a great book. God, go yeah, read that's, it that's if you That's a have dear not, friend and a person who had some read quotes. It. You Nat have to, You have to, fascinating one of my very favorite books, and it talked about the women. They were they were gone. Their husbands and you know the men were gone, and they they took care of that island. They took care of this island, you know. So Petticoat Row was the uh, was where the where the shops were. Yeah, women women uh, women owned shops. Yeah. All right, Ali, we thank God for freedom, and the gift the gift it is to vote, and we cherish it, and we'll. Um, it's important for all of us to make that commitment to speak our minds. And then if you don't, then as they say, then you have no right, no right to complain, right, Ali? When you sit out the elections, you have no right to complain. That's true. I would say so. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> okay, 541. 541. And the hymnal, if you're on island and need a hymnal, please let us know. And... Um, Thank you very much. What? I can't read everything yet. Let me see. Huh. No politics on the uh, on our feet, of course, kids. <laughs> All right, so come labor on. Let's keep laboring for God's kingdom, Ari. <clears throat> I'll try not to be too low. Wah, 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 wah. Come labor on, who dare stand idle on the harvest plain? While all around us waves the golden grain, and to each servant does the master say, Go work today. Come labor on. The enemy is watching night and day to sow the tears to snatch the seed away while we in sleep our duty have forgot he and faithless fear. No 
oh, I'm so weak, but may do service here. By feeblest agents, may our God fulfill his righteous will. Come, labor on, claim the high calling angels cannot share. To young and old, the gospel gladness there. Redeem the time, it's ours to swiftly fly the night. Draws nigh. Come labor on. No time for rest till glows the western sky, till the long shadows o'er our pathway lie, and a glad sound comes with the setting sun. So well done. Sweet Olive, thanks. Right on, uh. right on. Okay. So let's be good with each other. And our service continues, Ollie. Middle of the page. On page 132. 132. <laughs> Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us in the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life, may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O God, you bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth to confront one another without hatred or bitterness and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. Give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. Okay, all the time for prayers and intercessions. Yes. Keep sending in your prayers, and we will add them, of course, and it's hard for us to follow the feed as we go, so sorry for it, our slow response tonight. Otherwise, when I look at the tapes later, this is what I see. That's it. And Ollie, too, looking in. Ollie, your hair's looking great, by the way. Don't you love Ollie's hair? Stop it. Send out hearts if you love Ollie's hair. Stop it. Ollie, it Ollie, it's a great texture. Stop it. It's, it's, it's oh, your hair. It's fabulous. Get it out. Okay, so you're putting your bow tie on. Did I forgot my bow tie. I forgot my bow tie. So when I look at it, it's my, it's my Episcopal Church bow tie. My friend Bill Blind gave me this tie. 
And, you know, because it's women celebrating 100 years of women's right to vote. I mean, that is, that's worth wearing a bow tie for. I don't want to look too preppy, of course. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to look too preppy. I have my Murray's fluorescent, um, fluorescent red pants on, you know, and uh, of course, and then no, not, no preppiness here. And then. <laughs> he's looking very fancy. Nice. He's ready for, he's ready for, uh, I don't know what. I'm ready to go down to the club car, the but I, club. unfortunately, can't do that these days. Oh, uh, okay. Well, while he's bow tying up here, Go ahead, Olive. I'm going to start our prayers of intercession. <clears throat> I pray for, we pray for Christine's sister Lorraine, covering from lung surgery that she had this morning. Oh. We've been praying for her um, throughout, yes, months. throughout all these months. So um, good, good, good to get it behind her. Yeah, we pray for Carl, Jenny and Lucy's dad. And we pray for Peter. We pray for um, Baylor and David and Adam and for Ruth Sayer. Um, yeah, we pray for Peter and for all those in recovery. Um, because uh, we can wake up tomorrow and, um, and put one foot in front of the other. And so we keep um, hopeful. Yeah. Our friend's, our friend's son, Peter. Yeah. We pray for um, the children of our community and children around the world. We pray for the teachers Thanks, that are Thanks. and the schools that are struggling to um, make decisions, um, even in the yeah, so hard eleventh for our school, hour our school boards about what to teachers. do. You know. We yeah, and college students who've gone to college come back. I hope Ellie hasn't had to come back. Um, yeah, some colleges. So Ellie's first days in college as a freshman. Ellie's first day. Our, the, our dear Ellie, the, yeah. the, one of our parishioners. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, some colleges have turned around and said, go home. Yeah. No sooner have they unpacked, but they're sending them back home. So uh, we pray for all of our students as well. We pray for um, our Bishop of Massachusetts, Alan Gates and his wife, Tricia, and for our suffragan Bishop, Gail Harris. We pray for um, Paul from Madigan and Brookie, uh, who is a director of an assisted living facility, which is um, another very vulnerable place. We pray for David from Madigan too, David and Beverly, David's continued healing and comfort. We pray for the staff and volunteers of Nantucket Cottage Hospital and Fairwinds Counseling Center, mm. and for the med flight crews, which is a common thing here on Nantucket. You know, several today, Ollie. Yeah, it, it's not unusual to be helicopter, helicopter ride. Yep. How was that ride, Ollie? It was smooth. I will say that. Same it's, people. It's a small, small vehicle, but it's it uh, aircraft, but it. You know, gets you where you gotta go. Um, we pray for the Coast Guard crews. We pray for the medical community and research scientists around the world. Mm. We um, also pray for Lucy's family serving both of these communities. That's in Luke's family. We pray for Peter's sister Nancy and for our beloved parishioner Normand and his wife Binth. We pray for Josie, Melissa, Ellie, and Claire and Noah McMillan and his family. We pray for our sister congregation of St. John the Evangelist in Gertientes, Cuba. And for, we also pray for the- some, And some good news here with Lucy that the, maybe the permits that they've been waiting for for years that might be maybe soon coming to completion. Um, we pray for, um, the work of the St. Paul's Mission Committee, which is ever expanding. Great meeting today outside at a safe distance. Fabulous Holy Spirit meeting. Oh, Holy Spirit meeting. Oh, isn't that nice? Red meatball. We pray for the work of the Community Foundation for Nantucket. Talk, what does the Community Foundation do? It's yeah. fabulous. They do it. They do it all, Ali. They they inspire people to be generous, and um, they some people channel their monies in, for particular. Nonprofits and in, in ministries, categories of ministries. Others, they're feeding the island. They're 
Um, it's, um, yeah, so people, will, you know, someday I'll, they will be leaving money, we give money now, but we'll be, we did today, but we'll be leaving money for, a lot of our, our areas have community foundations. It's a wonderful way to serve your community with funding. They don't do the work, they fund people that are doing the work and they analyze it, they invest the monies. It's, um, that was a, was that an elevator? They say, can you, can you say it in 20 seconds, like for the elevator ride, describe it to someone. So all these, it's a board of, um, of people, trustees, that manage these funds and distribute them and inspire people to be generous and to the tune of millions of dollars during this, this pandemic, on, just on this island alone. So thanks for asking, Ali. Just for those of you out there that have, don't, aren't familiar with it. There's one in Georgetown, too, in Georgetown, Delaware, that um, uh, targets particular work. It's really, um, yeah. Go ahead, Olive. Okay, we pray for Pat and our dear friends, Pat and Janet. We pray for Eric and Pam and their children and for Joseph and for Missy and Blair and for Adam and for Adam's, Adam's healing. Release, for, release from uh, his... his Dental misery. Dental pain. <laughs> Which our friend Blair, if our friend Dr. Dr. Blair was here, would have taken care of you, Adam. But. We pray for um, my dear friend Linda and her family. We pray for my um, dear friend Allison. Um, my Allison college and Dave. Roommate. Yes, Allison and Dave. For the, the good work that they both do. We pray for uh, Les Slate and our Block Island friends. Uh, we pray for Block Island. Um, as you know, we, that's a special place to us, uh, for it's us. It's our other island. It's our other island, and, and we've been going there for 20 years, and they're having a hard time this summer with unruly they're overrun. tourists. So, young, um, unruly young tourists. And surprise, been, surprise. Uh, some death of young Kids people. today, Ali. Kids today. There's been a few car accidents out yeah, there. Yeah, a couple of fatalities. Not mm. good. So... Um, Let's keep the whole community in their in your prayers. We pray for um, Pastor Enoch Fuzz in Nashville, who I understand is doing well. We pray Good for um, Julie and Mary. Uh, uh, Julie um, works in the uh, central food in industry, as well as Matt Mitchell. Uh, um, uh, if you all. You Nantucket folks remember Matt Mitchell was the manager of Stop and Shop here, and a member of, of the church, and he moved, he got, lector, he got transferred to the Cape. Um, young man now in the vestry at his church. On, on That's the right, I think a junior warden, Ali. So, yeah, so Matt Mitchell, yeah, and he's out there. One of our, one of our in those, grads. You know, exposing himself to the, you know. Yeah, distributing food. Yeah. We pray for those serving in our armed forces at home and abroad and their families and for Jeff serving our returning troops. And we pray for those working uh, to feed people in uh, all kinds of settings, especially the restaurant business, Justine down in Berlin and Megan in Rehoboth and our Nantucket restaurant friends, uh, Mark at the Ships Inn across the street. Gabriel at Straight Wharf, Evan and Maria at Pie, and Todd and, and Susan at um, Black, Black Eyed, Eyed Susans. Susans, and Angela and Seth at, at The Pearl, and Joe and Jordana at um, Company in the Cauldron. We also play, pray for our musical friends, as we need, we need music in our lives, especially times okay. like this. And um, Peggy and Sherman are great friends of ours, great jazz musicians of ours. We pray for them. And we pray for um, our wonderful uh, music director, Joe Hammer. We are so blessed to have him. And um, finally, we pray for justice and peace in the world. Thanks, Ali. I want to pray for also a um, seminary that I've recently um, just met on the phone, but we'll, we'll be coming out to Nantucket, um, God willing, for a visit anyways, and maybe more. And he's studying, Jonathan, he's studying, Jonathan Smith, he's studying to be a um, Navy chaplain. He's, he's in his last year, a year from now, he'll be um, ordained, um, if it's God's will, and we believe it is, 
and be a Navy servant as a Navy chaplain. Isn't that a wonderful ministry? And so uh, we pray for more chaplains. We are, our service members and their families need pastoral care, Ali. That's why we thank God for our friend Jeff, who helps our troops returning from service and addresses their mental health needs. Okay, Ali, 134, I believe. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the page. Mm -hmm. You okay, Ali? Yeah, what hiccups and <laughs> coughing and... Meepo, you want to take over? <laughs> Let us pray together. Guide us waking, O Lord, Lord, and, and guard, guard us sleeping, sleeping that, that awake we may watch, watch with Christ, Christ, and asleep we may sleep, rest, rest in, in peace. peace. Lord, you, you now have, have set your servant free, free to go, go in peace, peace as you have promised, for these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, Christ and, and asleep we may rest in peace. peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. She went salad, Ali. She's frequenting that farm stand down on Main Street from Bartlett's Farm, and she's getting all these tomatoes, I don't have the goat lettuce. And, uh, I guess I don't have the, um, the goat. Okay, so what do you have, Ali? Playing music that Lucretia Mott, well, Lucretia Mott, Coffin Mott was a Quaker, so she probably didn't listen to this romantic music from the 1800s, but this is from her era in the mid 1800s. And what is it, Ali? Identify it. Romantic please. era music. Romantic era music. We won't be silenced tonight. Hopefully not. Who's to know? Who's to know, Ali? Who's to know? Yeah, that's the one. Uh-oh. Hey, good night. Love you. 
in the Father, Blessed in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. See you tomorrow night, okay?